Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm your host, Jay, and welcome to a special episode of Prime and Unwind. How's everyone doing? This month, I wanted to highlight someone who, and I could honestly speak for all of us, I'm obsessed with. The one and only Nicholas Gautzin. It seems like he's everywhere right now, including in our hearts. So I wanted to dedicate this Prime One episode that showcased titles that featured this amazing and talented actor. Prime and Unwind is the show where I go through the billions of Prime video streaming options to track down the most epic, unique, and binge-worthy series and movies. You have refined taste in content, and I have a lot of time in my hands, so let me do the work for you. Nicholas Galatzine is a remarkable talent whose captivating performances consistently leave audiences spellbound. His magnetic charm, coupled with unmatched versatility, has propelled him to the forefront of the entertainment industry. A lot of us first got to know him when he played Prince Robert in Prime Video Cinderella with Camila Cabello. His charisma pulls you in and makes you fall for him, just like Cinderella did. For this month, I wanted to highlight some of my favorite titles that showcased this wonderful individual. So without further ado, here are my top three picks of movies that feature Nicholas Galaxine, available to stream now on Prime Video. Kicking Things Off is a newer movie to the Prime Video library that I know you will enjoy. Available to Prime on a wine too, here's the idea of you. I feel like I don't meet people like you very often. And most people think they already know me. Hayes Campbell. It's not me. I don't know, you didn't seem to care. And for what it's worth, I think we met in a very interesting way. I think you're smart, and you know, you're, you're also just, just you, you're hot or whatever. Hot. <laughs> or whatever. So I guess what I'm doing here is just trying to get to know you better. Well, I do appreciate your honesty. The Idea of You is a contemporary love story following the enchanting journey of Selene, played by Anne Hathaway, a vibrant 40-year-old single mother who owns her own art gallery. After Selene is faced with the task of chaperoning her daughter's friend group to a popular music festival, she crosses paths with Hayes Campbell, played by Nicholas Galtzine. Hayes is a charismatic 24-year-old lead singer of the group August Moon, the world's most sensational boy band. August Moon happens to be one of the main bands performing at the festival, and the magic between Hayes and Selene unfolds in an instant. Their whirlwind romance blossoms amidst the festival's pulsating energy, but as they navigate the complexities of fame and adoration, Selene realizes that life in the limelight comes with its own set of challenges. This is an unconventional love story that will have you hooked from start to finish. A few years ago, the head of my label calls me. And he says that the lead singer of my favorite band wants to meet me. I'm so excited. Maybe we'll hit it off, record a song. And I get there and it's his 10 year old daughter's birthday party. And he wants me to take pictures with her and all her friends. I think that's my greatest fear in life. But I'm a joke. The chemistry between Selene and Hayes is undeniable. When they first meet in Hayes's trailer, you instantly get the feeling that they like each other. Selene can't help falling for him, but is worried by what others may think because of their age difference. Hayes is very charming, and Nicholas Galtzing knows how to radiate that charm through the screen. Galtzing's on-screen presence is magnetic as he draws you into the world of boy band fever. You feel like you are Selene, falling for him as well. With all odds against them, you may think a relationship like theirs wouldn't work, but he isn't like a normal 24-year-old. He longs for quiet moments of intimacy and partnership. If you love a romance story along with some good catchy music, then be sure to check out The Idea of You, now streaming on Prime Video. From teen heartthrob to obnoxious jock, there's nothing Nicholas Galsing can't do. This next comedy will be one I know you will enjoy. Let's check out Bottoms. Are you having sex with Mrs. Callahan? Baby, you look so beautiful. Like, so f***ing hot. How, how, how are you? Dad, 
are you having sex with her? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm helping her with her taxes. Aren't you in eighth grade algebra? Well, I can't answer that question because I, I don't know how to read. She's asking you to your face. That usually works. Are you cheating on me again? Baby, no, no. No, why would I, why would I do that? was one time with your sister. There's one, four times. No, I would never cheat on you again, okay? I promise you, I am not sleeping with her. I literally saw you yesterday. Shut up, nerd, I fucked your mom. Mm, mm. Wait. <laughs> yeah, we're done. Isabel. Bottoms follows PJ and Josie, two virgin lesbian best friends who happen to be in the unpopular crowd at Rockbridge Falls High School. This refreshingly outspoken and raunchy comedy unfolds as the girls start a fight club to impress and hook up with cheerleaders. To their surprise, their bizarre plan works. The fight club becomes increasingly popular, drawing in the school's elite girls who engage in physical altercations under the name of self-protection. However, soon PJ and Josie realize they're in too deep and must find an escape route before their scheme unravels. This is unique comedy that will keep you engaged and want you to join the fight club yourself. Isabel, get out of the freaking car! Get out! Get out! Ooh, I Come feel on. like we should Guys. just try. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's just go. You're being it, really just, mean just, right just now. Just move a little. Stop moving. He's gonna move. We're about Please. to drive. Isabel? You should move. Drive. Just drive. Oh, Josie, go. go. Right. How does oh, that go? Drive! <laughs> In Bottoms, Nicholas Gautzine portrays Jeff, a caricature of your typical high school quarterback. Jeff is characterized by his tragically nonchalant attitudes towards cheating on his girlfriend Isabel, his high camp personality, and his crude remarks towards those beneath him in the social order. He really shows his acting chops in this one. We may be used to seeing his softer and vulnerable side, but here we get to witness him playing a dumb, douchey, and shallow jock in all its glory. Jeff is jarring, hilarious, outgoing, and proof that Galtzine has range. This movie works as a satire comedy full of laughs, great gags, and one heck of a time. If you're looking to join this fight club and hit on cheerleaders, then be sure to check out Bottoms, now streaming on Prime Video. Rounding out this list is a personal favorite of mine, a once epic feud turned epic love. Available to Prime and Unwind 2 now, here's Red, White, and Royal Blue. Who would you be? Be a writer. Live in Paris. Certainly date more. Yeah, because it's so hard for a prince to get a date. People I date don't interest me, and the people who interest me, I can't date. Oh my god, Henry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Christ, you're as thick as it gets. Based on the New York Times bestseller by Casey McQuiston, Red, White, and Royal Blue centers around a long-running feud turned love story between the U.S. president's son and a British prince. Alex Claremont Diaz, played by Taylor Zakhar Perez, is the son of the first woman president of the United States, played by Uma Thurman. Prince Henry is played by Nicholas Galtzine and is the prince of England. At the beginning of the story, the two have a very strong disdain for one another. But after an altercation at a royal event causes a potential wedge in U.S.-British relations, they are forced into a truce and present themselves to the world as old friends. Their once icy relationship eventually thaws, and a spark ignites between two of the world's most eligible and handsome bachelors into something neither of them could have ever expected. There's something I've been dying to ask you. Which are the famous boys of I shagged? There's two things I've been dying to ask. <laughs> All right, let's start with the first. Do you have a last name? Actually, I have several. The official family name is Hanover Stewart. My father's surname was Fox, so my full name is Henry George Edward James Hanover Stewart Fox. <whistles> and I thought Alexander Gabriel Claremont Diaz was a mouthful. He is. 
The one thing that captivated me the most between Alex and Prince Henry's relationship is their chemistry. Yeah, sure, they hated each other towards the beginning, but once they get to the root of their long-lasting rivalry, they find that they have a lot more in common than they previously thought. Nicholas is a dream in this movie. The way he's able to capture the struggle of being one thing in the public eye, but opening himself up emotionally behind closed doors is what really drew me into this movie. Alex comes to terms with his feelings and is eventually ready to put it all on the line. I have to say that this was my first movie that I had ever seen with Nicholas Galtzin, and I have been a fan of his ever since. If you're looking for that rom-com, eye candy, feel-good movie, then be sure to check out Red, White, and Royal Blue, now streaming on Prime Video. There you have it. Three titles that feature Nicholas Galtzin for you to enjoy, all of which are available to stream now on Prime Video. What did you guys think of the titles on this month's list? Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below to let me know if you enjoy my picks or not. And what type of movies or series do you want me to recommend in my next video? Now you don't have to spend any time trying to find your next movie or binge. You can just sit back, prime, and unwind. Mm -hmm.